The current time is 7.01 a.m. and I'm just one hour away from my first ever ride on a Boeing 737 MAX. I'm nervous, but very thankful as well since Surfshark was kind enough to sponsor this video. At least I've got that to distract me from thoughts of unbalanced airframes and confused pilots. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Scott, I'm the founder and author of Sandspotter.com, and up until last week, I was standing firm on my pledge to avoid the max for two years, at least. However, if you know me, you'll know that I've got the attention span of a fly, and there was no freaking way I would have lasted two years. I'm actually kind of proud of myself for going a whole week before caving in. Whoa. Terminal 7 here at LAX is as empty as I've ever seen it, which is eerie, to say the least. Anyway, this right here is my ride to Houston this morning, a two-month-old 737 MAX 9 in the old livery, which confused me for a moment since I thought all of these things were painted in the new blue livery. Interesting. One of the really nice things about empty airport terminals is that it means that the free Wi-Fi is fast. Like, crazy fast. However, it's still crazy sketchy and woefully unsecured, so there's no way I'm going to log on without using Surfshark. If you haven't heard me talk about it before, Surfshark is an award-winning VPN which encrypts everything you do online through a secure and private tunnel. Anyone monitoring the network you're on cannot see what you're doing. I actually needed to log on to the sandspider.com server to make a few adjustments before this flight, and there's no way I'd do something like that on a public network. By simply launching Surfshark and virtually changing my location to somewhere else in the world, I made myself invisible to anyone snooping on this network trying to steal my personal information. Not that Sandspotter info is all that valuable or anything, but I like to pretend to feel important, okay? Anyway, being able to get this level of rock-solid protection is super easy, and anyone can do it. Simply click on the link in the description below, use the promo code SCOTT during the checkout process, and you can get Surfshark for 83% off what everyone else would pay for it. They're even throwing an extra three months on top of that for free right now, so really, this is one of those kind of deals that is simply too good to pass up. And now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a 737 MAX to go worry about. <laughs> this right here is the look of a man who is just mere moments away from cracking under pressure, which is really embarrassing since everyone else looks to have their sh together. But seriously, I wonder how many of these people actually know or care that they are about to fly on the Boeing 737 MAX. Here we go. There's no turning back now. Well, I guess there wouldn't be anyone stopping me from turning right around and running out of the airport at full speed, but I desperately need new footage for my channel. Oh, and it's not often that I contemplate the reliability of patch software, but it was kind of hard not to think of anything else during the long walk down the jet bridge. Truthfully, I'm more excited about this than I am nervous. I have complete faith in Boeing engineers and the entire crew of this aircraft, so I think it's time for me to man up and at least pretend like I can't hear the negative voices in my head. <laughs> Being distracted by those negative voices totally made me forget that I had booked a seat in premium economy for this flight. Cool. Anyway, anyone who has flown United Airlines in the past 10 years will instantly recognize the colors and style of seats featured here on the MAX 9. 
it's familiar. No, I'm not nervous about this at all. Why do you ask? <laughs> Let's just say that I've worked with enough stressed out software engineers over the span of my career to know that patched code is never perfect. And even though I just claim to have faith in everyone involved in making this flight happen today, you're darn right I'm going to sit here and study the location of the nearest emergency exits. I have plenty of faith. I'm just planning on fire and smoke. That's all. For those that are curious, I couldn't find any USB ports, but there are power outlets down beneath the seats. All onboard entertainment is free to consume on your own device via the complimentary Wi-Fi, and I'm keeping the safety card handy. Just because. Okay, this is the point where there is officially no turning back. I've got nowhere to run to now. And why would I run? My first impressions of the United 737 MAX 9 are pretty good, actually. These premium economy seats are really spacious, and I love how the engines look like mini versions of what are on the 787. With all the negative drama centered around this aircraft over the last two years, it was kind of hard not to feel a little tense during the climb out of LAX. Does it look like I'm clenching my butt cheeks? Because I totally am, by the way. All that butt clenching aside, I felt like I was starting to like the Max more and more by the minute. The sound was one of the most impressive aspects of it. It was loud, but soothing, if that makes any sense. I also quite liked how generous United was with the legroom up here in premium economy. Wondering what kind of snacks United Airlines is serving these days? Me too. All I'm gonna say is, I better not see any freaking Stroopwafels. Anyway, with all the COVID stuff still going on, they were handing out pre-packaged snack bags to limit interactions with the cabin crew. Let's see, looks like we've got a bottle of water, which is nice, and... Are you kidding me? Look, I wasn't a fan of these things way back in 2016, and I sure as heck haven't developed a taste for them since then. Am I weird for not finding Stroop Waffles appetizing at all? Please be careful how you answer that. At least they included a bag of pretzels because, well, I loves me some good pretzels. I do not, however, love eating with a mask. <laughs> the amount of pretzel dust that ended up on both the inside and the outside of my mask was more than a little annoying. I wonder how Neil from the Moment in the Sky YouTube channel would handle such a situation. Juggling pretzel dust, water bottles, and masks while trying to get thorough footage of it all takes superhuman skill and sure as heck I'm not as superhuman as Neil is. Let's see, what else can I tell you about the United Airlines 737 MAX 9? Oh, there's mood lighting, which probably looks really slick at night. And as soon as I can get this tray table out of the way, I can demonstrate how easy it is to stretch out and get comfortable here in premium economy. This is nice, especially since there haven't been any situations that have necessitated the use of a safety card yet. A quick check of the in-flight map reveals that we are heading straight north along the Arizona-New Mexico border, which is weird, but check this out. These tablet holders built into the seats are very convenient, although being slightly overkill for mobile phones. Still, it's a pretty neat idea, though. And, if you're curious, the selection of TV shows and movies available on the free streaming service is quite good. As a matter of fact, it's easily good enough to distract you from the fact that you're heading dead nuts north on a 737 MAX 
should be pointing east. As if this morning hasn't been interesting enough already, check out all of this fresh snow on the ground just west of Austin, Texas. Texas was hit with a once-in-a-lifetime winter storm just a few days before this flight, and this is worth soaking in since I'll likely never see anything like it ever again. Oddly enough, I was supposed to do this flight on the day of the storm, but I rescheduled since... Hold on. Just making sure the safety car is still in reach. <laughs> I rescheduled since flights in and out of the Houston airport were experiencing significant delays and cancellations. Today looks better, though. It seems as if all the snow and ice is gone, and we'll be on the ground 25 minutes ahead of schedule. Pro tip, seat 9A on the United 737 MAX 9 as a misaligned window. It's not all that bad, though. Assuming you're somewhat flexible, it's not hard to crank your head around and get some decent views of all the action. Speaking of which, here's some pretty sweet 737 MAX 9 shadow action on our way into runway 8 left. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Houston, the termination point of this flight and the location in which I give thanks to all the Sandspotter patrons. Simon from DrumAmbition.com is my newest patron, which is especially cool since he just may be the only online drum instructor on the planet with a Dreamliner tattoo. How awesome is that? Anyway, huge thanks to Aaron Slater, Joshua Bedell, Riley Wingo, and everyone else on this list for supporting my content. I really can't do these videos without you, so thank you. And there you have it. This little 737 MAX 9 adventure is over, but the good news is that I've got lots of other fun all-new adventures coming soon. Hope you'll stay tuned for those, and assuming you have the courage to do so, I'll catch you in the next one.